I'm back after a break, ABC adventurers. I went on location with lots of beaches and gardens. Here's what I found. Here are the surroundings, first of all. Let's start with the gardens where I encountered lots of ant species. First up are these aphenogaster ants belonging to the subfamily Marmicinae. These guys can spray formic acid. Next up are these polyrachis specimens, Camponotus ant, Weaver ants or Ecophila smaragdina which by the way are super savage. And my favorite of them all, the Trapjaw ant. These guys belong to the genus Odontomachus and have the second fastest bite of any other animal. At speeds less than a millisecond, their jaws, which are open at 180 degrees, are capable of decimating insects when shot. Actually, you know what? Let's put this to the test. Let's put this to the test. This is being done for educational and experimental purposes only. And these species anyways come across each other in the wild, so must be conflicting at some point. I placed an angry weaver ant in front of the trap jaw ant colony's nest. One of the workers snapped its fast jaws, splitting the weaver ant's gaster and releasing blood. That's absolutely savage. After that, the other trap jaw worker ants took care of it. This experiment also busts the myth that black colored ants do not bite. After all, all ants do. What can their jaws do to a human finger, you may ask? Well, you are about to find out. Here's my live reaction to the second fastest bite in the animal kingdom. It doesn't hurt. Well, it didn't hurt at all. So, trap joints are basically harmless. Now, let me show you the other things I found in Goa. I found a slink spider, some ant mimicking spiders, other jumping spiders, butterflies, and much more. On the beautiful beach, I managed to film this crab and lots of hermit crabs. This is the ocean where they washed up from. So mesmerizing to watch the waves, right? Speaking of oceans, humans pollute a lot. A lot of trash piles up in this habitat, leading to lots of casualties with fish, birds, other vertebrates, and marine invertebrates. We should at least help the ocean habitats in some way if we aren't able to just magically remove all the problems we threw at it. This is why many campaigns like Team Seals are looking to collect donations to help heal and reduce the ever growing scars we put on the oceans every day by removing trash from it. I feel that we should give such initiatives a lot of support by learning about them, potentially volunteering for them, and of course, donating. I hope you guys enjoyed the nature adventure. If you did, show support for this channel by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. To show support for ocean habitats, donate to campaigns like Team Seas. This is ABSE signing out. Take care and goodbye.